So what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to analyze an unknown sample. Now what we know about the unknown sample is that it has a mass of 251 grams. We know that it contains potassium, chromium, and oxygen. We also know that it could be one of two samples. It could be potassium chromate, K2CrO4, or it could be potassium dichromate, K2Cr2O7. So we have different amounts of each one of these elements in the compounds, and we're going to match up the percent of potassium in our unknown. We could pick any of these elements. We could do the percent of chromium. We could do the percent of oxygen. I just want to do a percent of potassium since it comes first. You could pick any element you want. But we're going to figure out the percent of potassium in our unknown, and then we're going to figure out the percent of potassium in our first sample and then our second sample, and we're going to look for a match. And whatever one it matches, that's a compound that it is. So our unknown comes first. We're going to look at the part that's potassium, which is 101 grams, out of the grand total 251. Multiply it by 100. And if you look at the math, you'll find out that it's 40.3% of the total. So our unknown has potassium in it, and it makes up about 40.3%. Now our knowns, we have two knowns. We have K2CrO4 and we have K2Cr2O7. So there's more chrom uh, chromium and there's more oxygen in the second compound. What we want to do is figure out the percent that's potassium in each of these. So just like we did before, you're going to figure out who's in the compound. We got potassium, we got chromium and oxygen. There's two potassiums, one chromium because imaginary one, and there's four oxygens. Now you look on the periodic table and figure out the molar masses. Potassium is 39.1, chromium is about 52.0 if you round to the tenths, and oxygen is 16.0. Multiply across, and 39.1 times 2 is 78.2 grams. Chromium still 52.1 or 52.0, and oxygen 4 times 16 is 64.0. Now if you add them all up together you get a grand total of 194.2. So this sample has a molar mass of 194.2. And the potassium that's in it is 78.2. So if we do 78.2 divided by the whole thing, 194.2, don't forget to times by 100, and you figure out the percentage, it's going to come out to about 40.3%. Hmm, that looks familiar. It's probably that one. But just uh, to make sure, let's look at the other one. We'll do this one in green. So we've got potassium, and there's two of them. They're each 39.1, so 2 times 39.1 is 78.2, just like before. We've got chromium, there's two of them, 52.0. So there's more chromium than we had before. We got 104 grams. And oxygen, there's seven of them, so there's a lot more than we had in the previous example. 7 times 16 comes out to 112 grams. So when we add this all up, this compound comes out to 294.2. So we've got a lot more chromium and oxygen here. So this comes out to 294, and then again we worry about the part that's potassium and the whole thing. Let's run it out of space here. Let's do 78.2 divided by the whole thing Oops. to 94.2 times 100, and that comes out to only 26.6% potassium. So we know that this does not match our original unknown sample. So it has to be this guy. So this is our match, and therefore that unknown is this. Now if potassium matches up, that means the chromium and the oxygen are all going to match up, because remember all these percents all add up to 100, all these percents will add up to 100. So if you've got one element and they match, then you can be pretty confident that the other elements will also match. So this is potassium chromate.